Tim Ross, Director of Public Events for the City, and thrilled to have the Owensboro Hydro Fair presented by Jago Homes this weekend. And so kind of building on what last weekend with the air show and there was huge crowds down on the on river here. And uh, so this weekend, the action kind of goes from the sky back down to the river with hydroplane boat racing. And so thrilled to have it back for the first time in years uh, along the riverfront. And we've got more than 60 teams that are registered um, to part be participating this weekend in six different classes of boats. Um, so the racing action uh, will kick off Friday about 12 o'clock. They'll start practices so each of the teams can get out there on the water and kind of get their bearings about them um, with that race course. And they'll wrap up around 5 or 5.30 on Friday. Um, and then Saturday morning and Sunday, it kicks off at 10 a.m. both days. And it should wrap up around 4 o'clock. So um, the entire riverfront, again, great place. Spectators can bring out their camp chairs, bring their blankets, and just kind of claim a spot like you do for, you know, the major events uh, along the riverfront. Here at the convention center, again, there's a ticketed area with reserved seats that were all pre-purchased for that. Um, but the rest of the riverfront is wide open. And then down at English Park um, is where the pits will be uh, for the racing. So that's where folks, if they wanna go down there um, for a time or for a day, can see the cranes in action, moving all these boats on and off the water, lifting them off their trailers, seeing how those race teams operate before and after each race. And so that's kind of the behind the scenes look of how that racing happens each weekend. So the racing action starts with practices on Friday. Then Friday night, we've got Friday after five normal um, with several stages along the riverfront. Um, several of the teams will be down on the riverfront with boats on display, get a chance to meet those drivers. Uh, and then the racing starts again Saturday. Saturday evening, we've got Live on the Banks uh, music series with a couple of stages behind us. Um, and then we're also going to be doing Lights on the Ohio. So that's something new that we're going to do this time, um, a, a bridge light display. So a lot of people have seen the lights and we've got a show at 8.15 um, where it'll all be choreographed to music with music and fireworks with the bridge lights um, set to music. So that'll be something pretty cool on Saturday night at 8.15. And then the racing starts again on, on Sunday morning at 10. So we're continuing to watch the river levels. Uh, you know, people have known that they, we had a bunch of rain the last day or so, and a lot of that rain's moving up river. Um, so we know the river is going to be rising. So we're going to continue to watch that uh, and monitor to see if we have to adjust schedules for anything. Um, we'll post that on our city uh, Facebook page as well as the Owensboro Hydro Fair Facebook page to get that information out to everybody if we have to adjust schedule um, for safety based on what kind of what the river levels are going to do. So we'll kind of see how that plays out. But we're excited. The weather is going to be good this weekend. So uh, I invite everybody to come on out and see some pretty cool racing this weekend with hydroplanes.